Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for joining. So on the heels of last week's video uh, that we could entitle uh, a how not to video, I felt it important to come back right away and uh, give you a uh, solution to what you're looking for and that is a way to thin silicone and uh, harden it up uh, in a thick mold. Now. Um, I have this still uh, laying around from a previous video that I did uh, a few months back and uh, where I uh, put silicone and corn starch together in a bag and I mix it up and I squeeze it out into this and it firmed up uh, this is over an inch thick and it firmed up in about 15 minutes so now last week's how not to video uh, this is the uh, stuff where we added the uh, alcohol and uh, used cornstarch and it is still not dry. And the, uh, the alcohol leached out and evaporated off of the plate. I can see the residue from it still. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to mix it with something that I know will work. Now, I use naphtha. <clears throat> you can use other things. Yes, you can use mineral spirits. Yes, you can use mineral turpentine. Uh, that's to name a couple. Uh, if there are others out there, well, I would suggest that you check it out for yourself. I'm going to thin it with the naphtha, and I'm going to add some cornstarch to that to see if we can get it to dry. All right, so let's get started. Now, I don't want to fail to mention here that uh, what I'm doing here, um, I've never seen done on YouTube. I like to present information that uh, is new and unique, uh, therefore um, of, uh, of great value to you. So the combination of the naphtha to thin the silicone and then the cornstarch to thin it out should you choose to pour a thick mold, even as thick as this is over an inch. So one of the biggest challenges facing uh, anyone who works in a laboratory, and I'm not even kidding, is to be able to complete your measurements before the uh, scale goes off. Uh, these things are battery operated and <laughs> The time is very short, so what I've done is I've teared this because this is about 11 grams, and I've gone ahead to speed things up, is to uh, put roughly 100 grams of uh, silicone into another Ziploc bag. To this, I'm going to add one fourth cup naphtha, and then while I'm on camera, we're going to try to very quickly measure out 10 grams of cornstarch. This is going to give us our 10 to 1 ratio for 100 grams of silicone. We're going to add 10 grams of cornstarch. Now, if I can manage this, we're going to pop all of this into a bag, that silicone, I mean that um, tef Ziploc bag, and we're going to mix it all up and hopefully pour it out. So. You'll have to bear with me because I have uh, only one of these cups and I can't tear it. So there we have it. Now when I come back, I'll be mixing all this together. Okay, and if you'll notice, I'm wearing gloves. And the reason I am is because of the naphtha. It is a solvent and uh, most solvents can be absorbed through the skin. We're going to start with a quarter cup. Uh, if that doesn't thin it properly, uh, we can certainly add more. The 10 grams of cornstarch added to the 100 grams of silicone will give us a dry time of roughly one hour.
silicone is messy stuff. I always seem to manage to do that. Okay, so here we go. Let's squeeze out a little bit of that air first. Now this is still rather thick, so um, what I'm going to do is I am going to add another quarter cup of the naphtha. I want to really thin it out. Trying to move this along as quickly as possible, and uh, my dad used to say, "The hurrier I am, the behinder I get," and that is so true. That feels uh, really loose there. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pour this out. Of course, now I'm going to cut the bag and I'm going to squeeze it out, but um, the stream should be fairly easy to squeeze. And I'm going to pour it as thick as I can because um, the goal of this method right here is, of course, <coughs> to thin it out but also to be able to uh, pour it over a large object. Uh, some parts will be rather thick in places. Uh, I think you get the idea of where we're going with this. much more thin but still probably more thick than uh, what you may want and uh, you can add more uh, naphtha or whatever solvent that you uh, choose and I'm just going to squeeze it all out here and just uh, 
to make as big a blob as I can to see if we get the one hour set time that is um, what we're sort of looking for here. It's a pourable silicone that you can pour thick. So, okay. That's a, that's a pile of nearly uh, two inches high. So we're going to come back in an hour and see if we've managed it. Alrighty, folks. So, here we have it. It's been about an hour. It's completely set. Um, completely cured all the way through. Uh, solid silicone. Almost two inches high. And uh, now, my friend Anka said it looks a bit like a turtle. And it sure does. So. She's more artistic. Okay, 